लोकाध्यक्ष सुराध्यक्ष धर्माध्यक्ष कृताकृत चतुरात्मा चतुर्व्यूह चतुर्दम चतुर्भुज दीज आर द ब्यूटिफुल लाइन्स फ्रॉम द थाउजेंड नेम्स ऑफ विष्णु विष्णु सहस्त्र नामा विच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिकॉज वी कम टू द ट्वेल्थ नक्षत्र ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सेवन कॉल्ड उत्तर फाल्गुनी द पूर्व एंड उत्तरा ऑलवेज फॉल नेक्स्ट टू ईच अदर पूर्व मीन्स बिफोर उत्तरा मीन्स दैट विच कम्स आफ्टर उत्तर फाल्गुनी फॉल्स इन द जोडियक साइन इन लियो एंड वर्गो द फर्स्ट पदा इज इन लियो द लास्ट थ्री पदाज आर इन वर्गो सो वी आर ट्रांसिटिंग फ्रॉम लियो इन टू वर्गो नाउ द नवाम शाह गो फ्रॉम साजिटेरियस कैप्रिकॉन अक्वेरियस एंड टू पाइसिस so the nature of this nakshatra uttara falguni what is the nature of this nakshatra well first of all it's a fixed nature that means if your personal planets or points in more in uttara falguni it means that you are of a pretty much fixed nature let's say if your 10th house planets are in uttara falguni then it is your very fixed job in life you see how this fixed nature of this nakshatra plays out these are the kinds of meanings you got to derive nature is very fixed maybe mind is very fixed emotionally and personality wise these are very fixed type of personalities uttara falguni gana is manushya therefore we are very earthly in nature the grounded deity is aryaman one of the adityas one of the forms of surya okay so he is called the god of favors of or patronage so this being governed by the sun these people are good at leadership positions because they are naturally governed by the sun okay let's see the energies success through partnerships and marriage because in purva falguni we talked about getting the love first we thought of getting the love now we need to keep that love now we need to sustain that partnership so these people will typically find that their success in life rises a lot after they are married or after they are into some partnership and they commit to it they have a very good conscience they are very enduring in their relationships they are very charitable people very adventurous especially in aquarius in the third pada they can be very adventurous they have a life theme of negotiating they can be friendly and happy people they are righteous and they have kindness to them okay especially in the first pada with leo going into sagittarius all the fire signs the action oriented again in the first pada management delegation and investments probably in the second pada because virgo goes into capricorn which is very good at management that combination very practical these people can be very good managers these are practically the good leaders okay and delegation investments initial struggles in life this is one of the big themes of this nakshatra these kind of people if your dominant planets and points are in this nakshatra you can have initial struggles in life but creating success later in life okay they have a theme of commitment contracts deals with intelligence and dedication especially in pada 2 and 3 because it's virgo going into capricorn virgo going into aquarius both saturn ruled ones yeah they can be unconventional managers if it goes to pada 3 for example okay will with intelligence dedication ethics rules tradition the second and third pada okay life lesson the life lesson for this nakshatra is strength and wealth maintain a marriage because this is comes after purva falguni which started a relationship it's like the courtship phase and now you're going into the marriage phase so strength and wealth they need to earn to maintain a marriage this is their theme in life mantra is obviously vishnu sahasranama because it governs the adityas the ages this nakshatra will be active in a person's chart will be 9 18 35 45 62 70 79 and 89 a mediumly activated nakshatra very uh, regal kind of nakshatra this is these people are more quiet type in nature but they have initial struggles and success later in life that's the dominant theme of this nakshatra okay in the next we shall be doing hasta nakshatra 
Take care.